Well, we're working on a pile of crap shovel head here. Oh, shit. There's the owner. Oh, I got to hold it low so you can't see. Yeah, you don't see my face. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got a 70s tranny and a 60s chopper that's all screwed up one end or the other. We're trying to make a mouse trap work on a hand ship top when the parts that are all screwed up and not correct. So here, your video. Oh, wait. You get to watch. Oh, no. Okay. Point and shoot, whatever you see there. By the way, what a button do I push? You're already filming. Oh. All you gotta do is put this thing where you wanna see it. Oh, okay. You see like that? Okay. And you can see it. Okay. You're in charge. All right. Okay, now this thing was all screwed up too. What a shocker. So I just got done straightening this, and now these lines up with this instead of being like this. Uh, because it was hitting on the cover oh. over here. Oh, jeez. And it's still hitting the cover over there because there's yeah. something else that's screwed up. What else is going up here? Oh, the spring was not in there this time. Okay, there. See, now that'll clear that. Except that shouldn't have hit on it anyway, so I don't know what it was hitting on. It's been binding up on something. We work through these things that come across in here. Okay. That's why most people go with that eliminator, huh? Yeah, at least if you use the right parts, would be nice. Uh, I'm thinking the screw you got might be the next problem. Because you're probably sticking oh. through so far. Oh, hitting the damn spring. And the dumbass is hitting the spring in there. The dumbass. Or dumbass. Customer, or whatever you want to call you today. If it wasn't there, those customers, your job would be easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, so that's probably <laughs> the problem there. Yeah, I don't need the cover on right now. It's probably a metric part anyway. Okay, so let's go find out what thread we need here. Uh, okay, follow you. So take some views of your nice bike. And oh. Describe all the good parts. Oh, heavens. Uh, try to stretch it. It's got air in the tire. Nice fender. Made out of an Indian front fender. Battle can. I mentioned it's got a Makuni carburetor. Well jetted. Be able to stretch it out? Stretch what out? The video. Oh, yeah, it's stretched out. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of talking, but I Oh, walked. you're not talking. You're supposed to tell them how great your bike is. Oh, it's a nice bike. Uh, your life history and you know, all that shit. You know, all that crap I don't give a squat about. I know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You it's a piece of crap and you own it? It's a piece of crap and I own it. There you go. I admit it. It's got some good parts on it, though. Somewhere. In the Somewhere around the crankshaft, maybe. <laughs> yeah. It runs good, though. Yeah, it does. It there does. Go. See? There you go. There's a plus. Thanks to Kenan. <clears throat> okay, so we got a quarter works. 20 bolt in here with a lock washer and a big oh. fat washer. No, it doesn't stick through as far. Oh, jeez. 
I even got a lock washer for up here. Oh, jeez. Is my phone ringing out there? It might be. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Somebody wants me. Hello. Hello. This is shows where nuts and bolts are important. Well, they, they didn't answer the phone. Didn't leave a message. And you don't leave a message, I don't return your call. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's back, ready to go back together now. How's this work? Oh. You didn't think I could figure that out, did you? Oh, I knew you could. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Amazing. Oh, now we're almost long enough now. Oh, jeez. that goes all the way back now. I guess it stops, see? Oh. Jeez. Moss trap is armed, though. It's armed? Armed. Well, we go, in case it goes? It means it'll, it'll attack me. I've been attacked by these things before. Oh. This, this appears to be bent, too, for some reason. Yeah, I didn't know if that was stock or what. No. You stock know, for your bike, yeah. Oh. I got that from a... Uh, the uh, Indian guy up on Adams Avenue. Oh, that's nice. You know who he is? No, I don't care. I don't blame you. With my straightening tools out. I didn't know you existed until uh, you drive down into Cycle Vision. See, that's a problem here now. So I'm done, I have to put the cover back on. Oh, we can take it off. And... Uh, just straighten it like this. Oh, okay. That's, that's what these tools are for here, see? Ah, the body tools. Now you clear your motor better here, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're going to have to clear this back here. You probably won't have tools like this in the tool box. Um, not exactly. That's not bad. Or no? There you go. Oh, you wow. It just looks like it, huh? Now we're too long, see? Too long. There, I just adjusted it, so now it's good. You're supposed to have lubricant on these parts here too, just in case you forget. Anything to metal to metal? Yeah, we'll let you worry about the lubricant material. Okay. Too. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Hey, man. Hi. Get an education here. This thing's worse than your bike. This thing's a pretty tricky. Boy, I tell you. This one's all wrong and mixed up and bent. <laughs> yeah, I could. Other than that, it's just like perfect. <laughs> Yeah, Butch tried to tell me about that thing on his pan one day, and I said, Jesus Christ, that's too complicated. Well, my roommate told me I would get, uh, uh, he was going to, uh, I'd be lucky to survive, come bringing my bike down here to show. <laughs> was that bad? Well, yeah. yeah. We actually tightened the bolt up this time. I lost this on the way down here. I need to make a, I need some adjustment here. Okay. How do no, you, you have to film. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. So we're adjusting. Here, so. We're adjusting the, uh. There. Rod. See how you got adjustments? See Beautiful. That worked. Now this appears to be bent now over here. Someone bent it back to the straight. There, we straightened it again. So this should have some flexibility over here. I just hope the threads hold. Uh, I can't vouch for threads. I know. I wouldn't hold you to it. Okay, now, we have some issues up here. Yeah. The issues is the customer. Yes. Short, that short between the seat and the handlebars. No, I, I lost a bolt on the way here. Oh, he's lost more than a bolt. This is about as rigged up mess as you can possibly come up with. That's it. It is, G it is rigged. Wow. More moving. Okay. Really. There, now he needs a bolt to go in there. It's going to screw up further, but it'll be just, it's already screwed up, so it's okay. Yeah, just a bolt, regular bolt. It's only been 40 years since I built one before. And the last one I built was a pan, in it. but I had to stop That's paying. That's an aftermarket. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that's a. That's a. Uh, what year is uh, it? That's an accurate engineering, otherwise known as a old panzer. Ah. But it's an evolution, right? That's an Evo. Yeah. Oh, 90, it's a '93 engine. Looks good. All right. Here we go with the bolt and the jury rig. What's your name, Jerry? No. Jerry, what are you doing? Oh, I said, oh, shit. That's me. 
Is that the right one? It could be the right bolt. It did work. There we go. All right. Sweet. Wow. Now we need some free play. Okay, the clutch is not working, more or less. Yeah, it seems to. So. More or less. Yeah. Mainly less, but it's working. Every time you do this, it gets longer here. So. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm stretching the cable out for you right now, see? Okay, now we need something in here to precision adjustment here. I'm thinking this might be the one right here. Don't try this at home, folks. That's optional. Now it's not returning back, so I made it too long. This here? Yeah. Okay, we got it right here. We got a special tool. This is temporary because you don't have any damn parts that are correct. Right. I know it would probably just get me home and I'll. Exceeded the limitation of your parts now. Oh, on the uh, adjustment on that? Yeah, they're not working anymore. See, I'm straightening the cable. Every time I pull on this, I'm straightening this out. Right. Yeah. So now it's not returning again. See? Oh. Now, if you had a spring on here, it would work. Oh, on the. Uh... Well, we're bending this out because right. it's not I... made to pull at an angle like this. I understand. Every time you release the clutch here. It does that, see? It's, it's not releasing all the way either. No? No. Or disengaging. It, it releases enough to go forward or go fast, but not pulling on it. So we had about five or six good pulls, and then after that, it's going mm. downhill again. What if I got a, uh, a bigger uh, rod here? Thicker and. Well, you need to correct parts. You don't have oh. to cut junk here. I can only work with okay. you got. Now, I'm thinking these coil springs are probably bottomed out, which is not helping the matter. Yeah, they're pretty close. I don't know why you got them in there so tight. I thought that I would try that because it was slipping, but they can be backed off. You think? Yeah, a little. These aren't even the right nuts on here, either. No, I had to recap that, too. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything on this bike that's correct? Uh, the uh, jug stood to the crank and the, the carburetor. I've heard the crank was good, but I don't believe it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And, uh, no, it's not working. For some reason, your lever is not disengaging over there. It's not even bottoming out. Backwards, you mean? Going you the other? The camera. Oh. You're filming a bunch of crap. Oh, I'm sorry. Darn You're supposed to be filming what I'm working on, not oh. just looking like this. Oh, gosh. Okay, the lever down here is yes. not disengaging all the way. Even though I'm, this here is all bottomed out. Right. Oh, I see. So it's not disengaging our clutch here. We got this thing blowing up for. So. If this lever didn't come all the way, it bottoms out here. And I don't know why you're bottoming out on that. Or it's just the clutch is stronger than this. That's why I backed off the spring tension, but that didn't seem to help. Wow. Oh, that, that would have held it. The plate on, the pressure plate on the... Uh, so oh, it's not disengaging. See, I bottomed out in here. 
That's as far as this is going to go up here. Oh, no chance. Huh? And you got another quarter inch. Yeah, but, yeah, but we're bottomed out here now because the rod's too long. Oh. And we can't fix the rod because your damn, all your junk is wrong. You want me to tighten, can I tighten this up here on the rod? More? No, this shit's screwed up. Oh. All of this shit's bad. You got to, the rod's a half inch too long. Okay. Straightening it like this is not, it only temporarily works. Like right. It, I was hoping it worked more than it did, but. Well, if we can get me home. The next problem is I don't know if that lever's going all the way or, or what. Oh, that's a whole nother problem. Where's my three quarter at? What are you doing over there? You working on that? Uh, why is this not loose? Um, is it stripped? It might be stripped. It's stripped now. Oh. Yeah. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose of me using that to pull the clutch. Because that should disengage the clutch by pulling on this. Right. By pulling it that way. Right? Yeah. Everything about this bike is screwed up. I know. I can't tell where all the problems are at because everything is internally hidden. Well, you know, if I pull it in, it's not releasing anymore. Wow. The rod's too damn long. Okay. We lost all our travel. See, we lost half our travel here. Wow. I knew that was going to happen because we're, the rod's wow. not made to be bent like this. Wow. I'm soaking up length. The problem is the rod's too damn short. Yeah. Wow. Or too long, I mean, excuse wow. me. What if I took it off and just and I'm hammered. thinking the trans I think the throw-up bearing is bottoming out inside your cover somehow. Something's not right in that kicker cover. I don't know what it is because I didn't put it together. No. Like I say, it wouldn't even move. Because yeah. your lever's not even bottom out against the tranny lid like it should be. When you pull the clutch in, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it hits it right there. No, it ain't hitting it yet. Oh, it is? It's not hitting on my side. Go. Not hitting yet. Oh, there's a gap in there. Oh, okay. You can see it move. Before I couldn't even. It wouldn't even move because I had. Yeah, well, it's. I don't know what's going on with all this crap. Everything's oh. wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. So I told you last week the parts were not working, and the more I, I see of it, the more I know it's even not working even less. All right, we got to pull this rod off. Okay. Thread it out. Should I push? Yeah. Should I take the? Uh, Mouse strap lower? That, that wouldn't make a difference? No. The location is not the problem. The okay. parts are wrong. You even got to get the correct lever or the correct clutch. And we even got to this crap up here being all wrong. Oh, oh. Right here. You know. Yeah. You got a five-speed cable you cut in half and butchered it. And yeah. stuck into a lever that's all worn out Funky. and missing parts. And you wonder why it doesn't work. It's a piece of crap. That's why it don't work. Spend five weeks trying to make oh. this pile of shit work, or you put all the correct parts on it, and it'll work fine. All right, we. Uh, the problem is you work on a bunch of crap that's all wrong. I mean, you can only butcher stuff so much. And then <clears throat> I got to get some new parts. You need a lot of new parts. Better use parts, or at least better use parts. Yeah, I want you know I want it to work right. I just didn't know. Now what happened over here? Why do you got so much clearance all of a sudden over here? I don't know. I don't know. That's twice as much movement of the lever than we had before. See, look how much clearance we got in this lever now. Yeah, that's just the room from the uh, fork before it hits the throttle ring. Yeah, think. but that's a lot more than it was before. Oh. Here, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Something has really changed. Now, did the adjustment down here change? Well, I know. It'll slip or almost disengage by turning it in. That's all screwed up, see? Yeah. Now, you've still got no clearance here. You're bottomed out. Yeah. So, something has effect changed up in here. Huh. Well, that it was always like that. I mean, no, it was just a double what you had before. Uh, this is all free play. This is not doing anything. Right. All this lack of free play means the clutch don't work. Correct. Okay. On top of everything else being wrong, there's something wrong with that. Shit. Yes, it is. Well, I don't wanna... at least that comes out now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's 
Should I try to turn this on? Or? Here, there's something broken in here. There's no way you'd have this much clearance. Something is completely wrong over here. Huh. Give me a big screwdriver so I can get this unscrewed. Maybe you broke the lever off in here. I don't know. There's something. No, it shouldn't be. There's something that's not, not right in here. You do not have this kind of travel. All when right. All the parts are in here. I see. That's your whole damn range of adjustment. A movement, not adjustment. A movement. That's only going to happen when the damn lever is broken off. Oh, yeah, I sent it through the side cover once already, but that was one that broke. Mm -hmm. The rod went through the side cover. I think we've got some other issues going on here. Yeah. Supposed to be oil in this tranny, too. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, well, there ain't no uh, oil. There's no oil in that half tranny. Half of a bottle of uh, 90 weight. Something's fucked up in here. I don't know what it is. This cover's gonna have to come off to see what's broken in here. There's something that's not right. I don't even see the lever in here at all. You don't? Nope. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a lack of a movement over here to see anything, but. Uh, okay, there, I got that jam behind the lever now. Okay, there's your lever. Pull that out. That comes out that far. So wow. why is the screw not going in deeper? Which, which screw? The throwout bearing. The push rod's not pushing against the throwout bearing. Well, it was a uh, hair hole in it. Okay. Something screwed up over here. Not going in the motor. It's not going into the throw bearing or? No. Wow. That's all you got for movement right there. Wow. Look at the top of you up here. Oh. Let go of that stupid oh, rod. Oh, God. You're videotaping, not holding parts. Okay, look at okay. the top view. Top view. Okay. Not me, dumbass. Screwdriver. Oh. oh, okay. See how much movement you got? Right. Why don't you pull back a little bit? Like a lot. Okay. okay. See how far we got movement? Yes, not much. Okay, come over here on the other side. Okay. See this over here? Yes. Okay. This is how much movement we got. See? Oh. See all this here? That's yeah. Free, that's free play. Wow. You, you, there's no way you have this kind of free play if everything's put together correctly. Wow. So something is wrong. I uh, this uh, arm, that little clutch lever inside there. Uh, something screwed up. I don't know what it is, but it's in that kicker cover. I noticed that. So we got to pull this whole kicker cover off, find out what the hell you got screwed up on this side, and then we can go over on the other side and fix that screwed up mess on the other side. You can't adjust something that doesn't even work. Right, I understand. All right. Maybe I could limp me home or? No, okay. I'm not limping anywhere. You got to take that thing off right now. This cover? Yep. All right, so he's going to take that off. We'll be back. All right, she got it apart. Here's the lever and the ground, the grinding I did for the. The threads throat. are good on this, so the nut must be bad. Oh, maybe. Want to take that off? Okay, so you have a kicker on this, yet you have no kicker stop. No kicker stop? Yeah. Oh. That's why your lever was way forward like that. Oh. 
So in short time there will be no, you'll have a big gouge in your Ooh. case. And the kicker will also re-engage, which will be a problem. No, oh, is this thing sliding in and out like it's supposed to? Yeah, it did. Here. Your hands are dirty. I'll get clean them. Go clean your hands off. I let Jerry do it, but we know it. We already get comments about you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a shaky video. Okay. Okay. Clean? Um, they're not transferable. Why don't you go in the bathroom and clean oh, your hands okay. and come back? Oh. Geez, you're running lean. Lean? What do you think all that white on your pipe is all about? Oh. Jeez, that is lean. Oh shit. You ever putting fuel in this motor? Well, I thought it was running uh, rich, I don't know. Yeah, it's running rich all right. Yeah, it's pipe's all white. Yeah, it's pretty rich, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so his kicker gear is loose, he said too. I can't see how that could possibly be a problem. So would he tighten up with his fingers and call it done? Mm-hmm. Now you see that hole right there? That could possibly be an oil leak. What do you think, Jerry? You think that's a leak? There's a hole there. I mean, look how much fluid he had in it. Yeah. Well, I knew it didn't have much in it. <laughs> so that's how much we came out, yeah. about an ounce. Yeah. So it might be a little low on fluid. Yeah. Just a little bit. But that's optional, though. We don't want too much, <coughs> we don't have too much fluids in things. That little thing fell out when he pulled off the Oh, yeah. Out. Oh, this thing over here? Yes, sir. Yeah, that came out of the, the well, area. He said he had a different push rod. I have a push rod, broke. you know, yeah. from the other type of... Uh, oh, yeah, well, that's the end of a push rod. Yeah, I have that. Uh, so whoever ground is covered, they put a big hole right in here. That's why there's no oil. Oh. See that hole? It did get leaked right out there. And you should have more than about a half an ounce of oil in your motor. Oh, what do I stand it up now? You don't need to stand it up. We already know there's no oil in it. Yeah, I only had to put half of a... Thing of 90. A half a thing, half a quart? I guess so. Yeah, well, I think most of it fell out already, half so. Is that fine? I'm not sure. 32 ounces it was. Okay, and I can see well, that was hitting yeah. on your throwout bearing right there, your lever. Oh, the lever. This uh, the one right there in the cover? Well, I don't know what was hitting on it, but it was hitting oh. something, was rubbing on it right there. You said your kicker gear was falling out. That was coming off. And you don't have no stop over here, so maybe your kicker gear is interfering with your clutch, and that's why it doesn't work. Wow. Because the lever, if it was engaged in the right spot, would have been over here. But if the lever was in the wrong spot and you're on top of this, yeah, like I it looks that. like you were. That, doesn't, that wasn't there before. Yeah, well, that would explain why a lot of this doesn't work. So this is a... Uh, could be some issues involved there. Oh, there's the hole. You had a big hole in this thing. Yeah, that's when the first... Uh, yeah, so this is a custom repair here, then, yes. what you're saying. So there might be another big leak right there. Coming right up the bottom. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking there's some issues with this vehicle. Where would you want to start? Oh, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's pretty loose, but okay. Well, first you need a bumper for your kicker. Then you need a cover. And I don't know why this spring is all bent to hell. Oh, I had to cut it. That broke. Yeah. I mean. You broke it and modified it. Yeah. Okay, so you made it cheap again. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so there might be some yeah. issues. So there might be a couple issues, a few things in here. All right, let me go see if I can find some parts so we can do the fix this thing. Okay.